Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be simplifying a rational expression with complex numbers and numerical expression because I is a number as you know hopefully if not if you're new to complex numbers and if you don't even know what I is then go ahead and check out my lecture videos I made nine I think eight or nine lecture videos on the basics of complex numbers now let me just introduce I to you if you're new to this I is the number whose square equals negative one that that is probably the best definition but some people call it the square root of negative one obviously it's not a real number it's imaginary but it's as real as real numbers okay we use it all the time anyways so I squared equals negative one that's one thing that you should never forget but here we have complex numbers that are written in the form of a plus bi and what is this channel called a plus bi great now they're written with a real part and an imaginary part, and they're raised to very high powers. 2024, what's so significant? Well, this is 2024, right? <laughs> when this media video is being recorded. And 2023 is just the last year, okay? And I just wanted them to be different. They could be the same. Maybe in another video we can talk about it. But I especially wanted to make them different because that's more fun. Great. So we're going to simplify this expression, but before we get into it, I want to introduce uh, some interesting facts. 1 plus i and 1 minus i are special numbers. You're going to notice, and you're going to see them a lot, by the way. In many of my videos, I use them, and you've seen them in books as well, uh, or you will see them if you haven't seen them before. What is so special about 1 plus i is, let's think about what, uh, how that's represented in the argon plane. Argon plane is basically like the xy plane, but we just call this the real axis, we call this the imaginary, and complex numbers can be expressed as points on the plane. And it's called the Argand plane, the spelling, I make sure I'm not, uh, I am not mispronouncing it, it's spelled like this. And on the Argand plane, basically you can express one plus i as one comma one, all right? So it's gonna look like this. One unit this way and one unit that way. So, but we put a one here and we put an i here representing that it's basically there kind of like a combination, okay? And then we can kind of connect it to the origin and that'll form a straight segment and that distance can be measured and it's defined as the absolute value of this number, in which case this is going to be a square root of two. What's so significant about this number is though that it makes a 45 degree angle or pi over four radians, which is its argument. So that's kind of nice. We get an isosceles right triangle. This side is one, this side is one, so on and so forth. The angle is a special, it's a special angle, so we can write it as square root of two times e to the power i times pi over four. Of course, this is only one of the representations, one of the many representations of this number, because you can add two pi to the argument and make multiple rotations, okay? But this is called the principal argument, all right? Cool. Now, in general, a complex number z can be expressed as r times e to the i theta, where r is the modulus or the absolute value, and theta is called the argument. Quick summary on the polar form. Now, once we do this, we can go ahead and proceed. That would probably be one of the methods that I'm going to be using, so let's go ahead and do that. This is root 2. Let's call, use this, uh, call this first method e to the power i pi over 4, and I don't need to worry about the adding multiples of 2 pi, because I'm going to raise it to higher powers, they will always be equivalent to 0. If I was taking the roots, it would make a difference, because we would make the numbers, or the arguments smaller. Make sense? Now, we're going to raise it to the power 2024. What about the bottom? How do you express that? The only thing you need to do is to change the angle, because what happens is, it's just a reflection, 1 minus i, is basically the same angle in the measured in the negative direction. So you can write it as root 2 times e to the power negative pi over 4 times i, which happens to be that way, and then raise it to the power 2023. And obviously, this should not be too hard to simplify, right? Well, sort of. <laughs> well, we can definitely separate these. First of all, this is going to give me a square root of 2 to the power 2024. And then if I take the i, it's just going to be 2024 divided by 4, by the way, that's going to be 506. So it's going to be like i times 
506 pi, which obviously contains a lot of pi in it, right? And then the bottom one, you can multiply and think about it. This is going to have, obviously, a remainder, right? So we can kind of do this, maybe uh, bring it down to 2023. 2023, you write it as 2020 plus 3. So first, take care of this. That will be root 2 to the power 2023. By the way, I don't have to split that up. It's already good. But uh, this part can be split up into 2020 plus 3. And that would give you this number to the power 2020. And again, we can kind of simplify this. And that will be a negative 5. 105 so let's go ahead and write it that way e to the power negative i 505 pi and then you can go ahead and just separate the rest as e to the power negative 3 i pi over 4 because remember where we had a, a remainder right great now what do you do with this this can be simplified right a great deal and then this you can basically subtract the exponents and we can evaluate it, right? You can definitely go ahead and do that. And since we're going to do this problem in more than one way, I'm just going to leave that as an exercise for you and continue with the second method, okay? Now, the second method is really nice because it uses a really nice property of these numbers. And these numbers are basically special, I told you, remember that? So... For example, if you take 1 plus i and square it, you're going to get 1 plus i squared plus 2i, but i squared is negative 1. Remember, we talked about it. This is going to give you 2i. And if you go ahead and do the same thing with 1 minus i, you should be getting negative 2i. So now this becomes what? I can write this as 1 plus i to the second power, to the power 1022, right? 2000, wait, 2000, no, 1012. What am I talking about? And then... 1012 and this one can be written as 1 minus i squared and I can kind of raise it I want to bring it to 2022 first 1011 and then just multiply by an extra 1 minus i which we can take care of at the end make sense so now we have the following let's go ahead and erase clean this area so we can continue now we can go ahead and write this as 2i 2i to the power 1012 and then this one is going to be negative 2i to the power 1011 multiplied by 1 minus i. Now we can go ahead and simplify each one of these 2 to the power 1012 times i to the power 1012 and then 2 to the power 1011 but there's going to be a negative sign because 1011 is odd and this is going to be i to the power 1011 and then at the end multiply by 1 minus i. We'll take care of this last. Let's go ahead and simplify these first. Now ignore the negative for a second and this is going to give you a 2 here, maybe a negative 2 in the numerator so we can take care of this. Don't worry about the powers, they're just going to simplify leaving you with an i. So now our expression turns into negative i divided by 1 minus i. And again this is fairly easy to do, all you have to do is multiply by the conjugates and that should give you negative 2i, multiply by 1 plus i and divide it by now, when you multiply these two things, you get 1 plus 1, or 1 squared plus 1 squared, which is 2. The 2 cancels out. You end up with negative i times that. If you distribute it, you're going to get negative i minus i squared. But remember what we said, i squared is negative 1. So negative i squared is going to be positive 1. So the answer would be 1 minus i. Awesome. Let's go ahead and talk about the third method real quick, because I think we can solve this problem in probably more than three ways. But I can quickly think of three methods. Uh, off the top of my head and here's the third method since we have the powers that are so close why don't we just write it like this we can take these two together and raise it to the power 2023 that'll take care of everything except we're going to have a leftover which is one plus i that's going to give you the 2024 right now inside here we can simplify that what is one plus i over one minus i let's go ahead and multiply by one plus i the conjugates that's going to give us the square of 1 plus i, which is 2i. I hope you remember that. And this is going to give me a 2, and that's going to give you an i. An i for an i. So now you're going to end up with i to the power 2023 times 1 plus i. And i to the power 2023, by the way, is you're going to look at the remainders upon division by 4. So the only thing that matters is 
basically pretty much uh, the last digit mod 4 and that will be a 3 so this is equivalent to i to the third which is equivalent to negative i and that should give us the exact same thing which is 1 minus i make sense and this brings us to the end of this video well thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it please let me know don't forget to comment like and subscribe i'll see you next time with another video until then be safe take care and bye bye